good morning this is dr quarter fix in today's video i'm gonna be telling you about 13 to 14 symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor well throttle throttle position sensor what is throttle position sensor throttle position sensor in my own book is electrical electronic device which is engineered to detect exactly the position of the butterfly valve that is present inside your throttle body and uses that information to adjust the air fuel mixture according to your driving pattern so when this guy goes by there's a lot of problem he becomes a host of problems different shades and different grade shades so here before i go into listing those if you're new to my channel subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification icon by so doing you when you ask me any personalized question under this video video description here i'm gonna answer you but if you don't do that kindly don't ask me any personalized question now a lot of people have been blogging about this guy here but i'm going to be giving you exclusive videos uh, exclusive information about this guy today now based on what i've told you how it does his own things a lot of shitty things can actually happen so when this guy fails to report correctly now that is right this guy is a reporter not a cnn reporter maybe at a zero so the information that he reports it works hand in hand with your throttle pedal to actually relay the information correctly to the ECU on how full or half you depress this gas pedal. So the more you press on it, the more it makes adjustment to this butterfly valve that is right here to open more. And this is VW model also, you should be able to find it somewhere around here. So for this VW model, it's actually embedded, encapsulated inside here. But for most, you will often see them just around this area here. But for this one here, it's not around that area because it's a German car and it's in general for a German different purpose. So this one here belongs for Ford Mondeo. So let's quickly go into the top symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor. The first symptom, the first symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor is the car starts and stall. This actually happened when this guy goes by the field, the very wrong information to the ECM, giving a forceful information. Every forceful information has its own consequences. And the first consequences, which I just told you, is that the car starts and shuts down. The car starts and stall, right? So when you have a car that starts and stall, you should know that this guy could actually be the problem. The number two symptom of throttle position sensor is check engine light. For most car models that are not uh, 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 Volkswagen and European models, when their throttle position sensor goes bad, it throws a check engine light. Why? Because this is part of the engine crucial critical component that actually helps in adjusting the air fuel ratio correctly. Yes. So if this guy goes bad, there is every call to consent to alert the owner that there is a problem within the engine because there's going to be a serious engine problem when this guy goes bad. The number three symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor is engine underperformance. It's that kind of a situation where you're stepping on the gas pedal really hard like you're fighting with it, but the engine is not bringing its power as it's supposed to. There is every sen sense, all right? There is every tendency that you have a throttle, a bad throttle response because of incorrect signal and data being sent to the ECM, which is interpreted, but the right fuel quantity is being messed up the right air and fuel quantity is being messed up with the fourth symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor is the engine have a rough idle you have a rough idle where you start your car the the idle is going up and down this needle is going up and down like as if it's having fun well that fun is actually stemming from a bad throttle position sensor because within that time the engine management is trying to create a balance between the response here and this guy right here so even while you're not stepping on the gas pedal is still finding a wrong information which this guy is still fighting struggling with the wrong information which this throttle uh, throttle position sensor here is feeding it and that is what is actually resulting in a rough idle number five symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor is 
a poor throttle response or hesitation upon acceleration when you're having a bad throttle position sensor it's going to actually be lying to the ecm all right when you're stepping hard on it that you need fuel it's going to be telling the ecm that you need a low fuel even when the right air quantity is there the right fuel adjustment the injector pulse width is not going to be increased and when that happens it's going to be actually creating some sort of lean mixture which is going to be making some sort of creating a pulsation or rough uh, uh, poor throttle response number six symptom Add throttle position sensor is engine backfire when a, tr a, bad, a, a throttle rest a throttle position sensor fails in your car it creates a rich mixture inside your engine which make which confuses the ecm or the onboard computer to send more fuel than the engine can burn and when that happens when that happens the unburned fuel that is present inside the combustion chamber we quickly gallow its way into the exhaust to the hot exhaust and when it gets into that exhaust right there which you can see that's at the back of your engine or most of the times in front of the engine it gets ignited there and when it gets ignited, it creates a backfire situation so when you're struggling to solve an engine that backfires you want to look out for a bad throttle position sensor Number six symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor is poor gas mileage. When a bad throttle position sensor fails, it sends an incorrect data to the ECM that enriches the air fuel mixture. And when that happens, it sends more fuel than necessary to the engine, which I just explained to you that causes the backfire, engine backfire. So in this case, it actually sends more fuel it creates a backfire situation and it creates a poor gas mileage. So when you're trying to solve a poor gas mileage in your car, do not ignore any code related to bad throttle position sensor. Number seven symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor is black exhaust, black smoke coming out of your tailpipe. When you start seeing a black exhaust coming out of your tailpipe, there are a lot of other components in your car that can actually mimic the same problem, such as your bad, such, such as bad throttle body, bad fuel pump, bad math sensor. And in this case here, the bad throttle position sensor can mimic exactly the same problem when it sends when it uh, opt, uh, mix, uh, stimulates the ECM to opt for more fuel than necessary and the unburnt one will find its way to the exhaust so when you find such kind of problem within your car or anyone whom you're trying to solve this car you want to look out for a bad throttle position sensor eight symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor is jackiness jackiness and jackiness when you start noticing any jackiness in your car there is every tendency that you have a bad throttle position sensor in your car although it is not actually exhaustive to say that it's only a bad throttle position sensor that can make your car to jerk when you step on the gas pedal but it's actually one of the major components that actually creates such situation of jerkiness in your car when you drive number 10 number nine symptoms sorry number nine symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor is no throttle response when you're stepping on the gas pedal there is no throttle response and it does that because the ecm actually uses both the this throttle position sensor throttle pedal position sensor and the throttle uh position sensor to create a balance to it uses this to receive an input value of how much fuel you need how much air and fuel you need then it uses this to actuate the function so when this one fails you're often going to be pressing on this gas pedal and there is not going to be any response because this one is dead number 10 symptoms of a bio throttle position sensor is random shut off of the engine if you've ever noticed some sort of a random shut off of your engine while in a highway it's not only limited to a bad fuel pump a bad uh, uh no gas in your gas tank but a bad throttle position sensor can actually shut off the engine at will when the ECM is confused about the right data, the correct data about the position of your throttle butterfly valve. So when you're having a car that randomly shuts down while you're driving on the highway, you want to check out for a code related to 
a bad throttle position sensor if suppose yours is engineered differently but if it's not engineered differently then there is every tendency that you're going to be replacing this whole unit if you are having one that the whole system is encapsulated like some of the newer Toyota model and BMW, Mercedes and the rest of them. 11th symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor is the smell of fumes, smell of fuel, gasoline while you drive in your car. When the throttle position sensor goes bad and start creating a lot of chaos inside the car, it sends more fuel than necessary into the combustion chamber. Now, if suppose your car is the monotronic injector system, you're going to be actually seeing this to be an obvious situation where you're going to be perceiving more fuel, like as if there is some sort of, you know, but exactly what is actually going on here, technically speaking, is there is too much fuel that is being added inside the system and it's leaking past the seals that you that is actually covering the uh the monotronic injector system and that is why you'll be perceiving some kind of fuel when you're having a bad throttle response or a bad throttle position sensor of a bad throttle position sensor is a mixture of oil and fuel this might not be very applicable to newer model cars but most volkswagen model the older vehicles have this issue when they start having a bad throttle pedal you are actually risking of oil flooding or engine flooding with fuel when it allows this to actually stock the monotronic injector stock open and more fuel gets inside the combustion chamber so when it gets into the combustion chamber if the seals if sorry if the piston rings are not sealing the cylinder wall properly you're going to be having fuel mixing inside your engine so when you start noticing any fuel inside your engine oil then you want to look out for a throttle position sensor for your car though it's not designed in this way it's much more flatter but it's actually the same thing it does the same job the 13 symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor is multiple cylinder misfire when you are having a multiple cylinder misfire P0300, sometimes to detect it can be very hard because it can stem from a bad fuel pump, it can stem from a 40 map or MAF sensor, it can also stem from intake air temperature sensor. But also, this guy also happened to be one of the renegade guys that can actually cause a P0300 multiple cylinder misfire. And in that situation, there is when it creates a lean mixture you're going to be having a p0300 and a lean code and if you create a rich mixture you're going to be having a rich code rich error code as much as multiple cylinder misfire because excessive fuel inside the combustion chamber can cause a fouling spark plug which is going to be resulting into multiple cylinder misfire then finally the 14th guy the 14th guy the 14 symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor is hard starts when you're having a hard start situation, a lot of things are going to be crossing your mind as a very good te service technician or uh, a car enthusiast or a DIY. Uh, let's say like uh, the fuel is not supply, it's not supplying enough, or maybe you're having a, a too much uh, of air going inside the engine, creating a lean mixture, or maybe you're having some sort of a vacuum leak, a huge vacuum leak that's actually creating the situation but not exhaustively this guy also creates some sort of a situation like that and how did you know that this guy actually creates the situation of a hard start for most systems that are actually equipped with that are equipped with this encapsulated with a uh, throttle body when you have a bad throttle position sensor they wouldn't allow the car to start up quickly so in such case if they are encapsulated you're going to be replacing the entire system but if they are in separate you're going to be replacing just this one right here i hope this solved your problem if it doesn't solve your problem subscribe and turn on the notification before asking me any personalized question if you don't do so do not ask me any personalized question i remain dr Co. Cool fix i'll catch you on the next one bye for now